comes to your speeches, it's always a treat. Sexy is one of the best natural speakers I've seen. He can come up to the stage with his body language, his charisma, he can hold the crowd. And that will always be his strength. When you speak, you have a natural rhythm. You have a very intuitive understanding of where to pause, how to lengthen the crowd's attention, and you have mastered body language and your facial expressions. So these are going to be your strong points, and you will always carry your speech. You will have the audience hanging on every word. How you augmented that today was, for example, you saw an opportunity to use visual aids. You started out with very eye-catching slides. You also came dressed for the occasion, something that most of us speakers will overlook. So as part of the visual element, I'd say your appearance and the slides work very well hand in hand. And as a very intuitive speaker, you can link whatever speech you've heard with the audience's experience. That was a masterstroke. When you went there at the start, then you said, I know some of you are feeling scared. I know some of you are feeling sad. It's something that I feel. You managed to link it to the speech content, which was about how hard it is to communicate one's feelings. And you even managed to inject humor in an otherwise very serious topic. When you just mentioned the phone call with your mom, how you needed money. Very good. And the fact that the audience was responsive kind of tells you that they were hanging on to every word, that your joke hit this point. So what, where do we improve? Where do we go on from here from an otherwise is sexy fully mastered everything? Has he mastered body language, eye contact, gripping the audience? There is always the next mountain to climb. And for you, it will be controlling the topic. In your case today, you started off with a focus about how hard it is to communicate otherwise inexpressible emotions. And you spoke about the image we portray via social media and the image of our own real lives, so our reality. But then the second half of your speech was about being a careful listener. So you can see this an ambitious topic and two very broad teams of melt together. So this is something that I would suggest you improve on. Speak a, a, a more modest focus because you have your audience grabbing onto every word. That will be the perfect time to make an impact. I have, from your prior speeches, I can tell you that the ones where you relate a personal experience, that's when you've got the audience hanging onto every word. So how do you move on beyond this? You mentioned that uh, how to be an effective communicator when you listen and then you put the slide of the Dalai Lama. That was a little too fast. We needed time to digest the text. As a viewer, I wasn't sure, should I be reading the background or should I be paying attention to you? That was the point where the energy got a bit muddled up. But apart from that, I think you did use uh, your visual elements very strongly. I think you hit all the objectives. And I think if you carry on, you're going to be a very good visual speaker. Thank you, Sexy. Thank you. Let's invite Dewey to evaluate Shana's speech.